Good evening and welcome. This is Dr. Du. And tonight I've got some questions I want to ask uh, as a kind of a start to continue the series that I have been doing on Dr. Du asks, What If? And today um, some information was brought to my attention about a child where a parent, actually a relative, walked in on the child and actually saw the child. I think the child's four or five, six years old, a uh, female, sitting there and or actually laying where, she, where the child was. And the child was uh, basically doing what little kids do typically when they're, I think, very young and innocent. And that is they start to um, manipulate themselves or play with themselves. And then, after someone brought it to my attention and kind of wondered about it, I want to ask these questions to America and to you and you and you. Does sexual abuse start when little boys and little girls copy what they see their parents doing? We're going to come back with these and, and we'll do a, a, another uh, video possibly going into some possible answers. Um, another question is, does masturbation start when little boys and little girls see their parents playing with themselves? You know, kids walk in and see the parent, the parent's so absorbed, don't know that somebody's watching them. And of course, you have these parents that walk around uh, in some parts of our communities where they're basically holding their stuff, you know, and they're constantly manipulating it. Another question is, um, does incest start when little brothers and sisters see their parents having sex and they get aroused, they get turned on, they get whatever, and then they start trying it themselves. But little brothers and sisters. Another question, does sexual expression start in a little four or five or six year old, or whatever the little age could be, three, uh, when they see their single mothers, you know, either playing with themselves or using a dildo or using a vibrator, or just manipulating themselves, or they walk in and see the single mother with a boyfriend or a girlfriend having sex, and because they're so engrossed, they don't recognize what's happening, and they continue doing what they're doing. And, of course, then the child um, begins to wonder, what is this all about? And then they go and experiment. Uh, does it happen uh, those ways? You know, what what is it? Or, if there is truly a pedophile in the family, uh, of course, that could trigger it. Or if there is a single mother who is indiscriminate about the men or women that she plays with and moves them in the house and of course they being the animals that they are, do they start to, you know, mess with the children? We've seen so many stories in the last several weeks of, um, you know, these single moms abusing their children. And it's only going to get more intense and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be worse. We're going to see much more. And the murdering that's going on, the uh, 
stuff that's happening. That's why we do the program called Say a Word About This, or we call it What's the Word for Today? Is the word abuse? Is the word sexual abuse? Is the word incest? Is it domestic violence? You know, they see the parrots or the adults. I, I don't. I don't think they even are worthy of being called a parent. <laughs> see the adult fighting, and they finish fighting, and then they go and they end up getting high or drunk or whatever, and they have sex. And the kids see all this, and this behavior pattern that starts and continues. These are just some questions that we want to put out there, and if you want to, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to talk about it or uh, give an answer or a possible answer or a possible comment, feel free to do that. But understand that we are in dire times, and I believe the greatest thing that's going to happen now is that we're going to have more and more and more sexual escapades, more perversion, more children being hurt, being killed, being abused being misused are you going to allow that to continue in your community are you going to do something about it or is it going to be just a case of there goes America more of the downfall uh, let's 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 get a dialogue going let's find out you know my little friend the uh, koala he sure would like to know. I don't think koalas are doing that. Well, let me leave you with this thought. Pain is not for life. If you want to call me, feel free. My number is 760-951-9484. 760-951-9484. Or if you would rather email me and uh, we can start the dialogue that way, feel free to uh, send me an email at uh, my name, Lauren Du at gmail.com. Lauren, L O R E N, Du, D U E, at gmail.com. This is a series that we want to continue, and you'll start seeing populated on um, the web some of the other questions I've asked over the last couple, three years. Well, Dr. Du, that's uh, also known as Lauren Du, that's me, signing off. Remember, pain is not for life.